Hey, what's up guys? This is Theo here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use JavaScript's uh, reduce method to take the place of using a filter and a mapping, okay? And I'm going to show you that this is actually faster. I got this off of an egghead video, uh, or just not this exact example, but just demonstrating that it's faster. So I'm going to create a numbers array, and we're just going to fill this with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, and um, so with the filter and map approach, what I can do is I can say var result is equal to numbers.filter, set function number, here we'll just return number is greater than two. And then what we wanna do now is do map, and then map across the numbers, and we just wanna return number times two. Right, and so we're gonna log out this result. We get six, eight, ten. Uh, what I want to do actually is uh, do this console.time. We'll do uh, let's see, we'll just do filter map, and we'll just do console.time end filter map. We can look at uh, what we're getting here. Get one console dot time step. Uh, maybe I can't do it in here actually. Console dot time filter map. Can we do console dot time? There we go. Let's try it real quick and let's see what am I missing there. Okay, so it's filter map, but Okay, let me actually just do it here in the browser, see if I can get that to work instead. So same sort of deal. We're gonna have a, a console.time. We're gonna do filter map, and then we're gonna have, or actually, sorry, we'll create a function, right? And this function is just gonna be um, filter map, so function, and what we're going to do in here is we're going to say console time filter map. And then what we can do from there is actually run um, run this. So we say lower numbers, just do it all in here, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, but actually, I don't want to do that. Let me declare it. Sorry about that. Let me actually declare it uh, before any of that. So one, two, three, four, five. So it's not actually starting until then. And with this, we can now do numbers.filter, we'll, we'll start with map, numbers.map function number, and uh, go back there. Okay, cool. And with that, now what we can do is we can go ahead and return the number multiplied by two, and then we can go ahead and filter on top of this. Function number. Okay, and down here, what we can do is we're just going to return if the number is greater than two. So we'll do four, and then um, and then we're going to run console time and filter map. Okay, cool. So that that should work. So if we run filter map, what are we getting? We're getting zero point one nine two. 0.082, obviously it's gonna vary a little bit. Actually that initial time was good, or was fairly slow, right? But after that, it looks like about 0. Point, almost about 0 0.030, that's what I'm seeing, mainly. There's a few times where it's slower, so it's a few times where it's faster, but, so we'll just compare it, right? We'll create our next method. So we got 0 0.025 on there. Uh, so now let's create a, now a method called uh, uh, reduce timer. 
and same sort of deal. What we want to do here is create our numbers. And one, two, three, four, five. And I want to do numbers. Let's do possible time. We'll do um, reduce timer. And uh, we can do same operations here. Numbers.reduce function. And this, again, here's the difference. It takes in an accumulator and a value. And what we can do on here is what we need to do is actually give it a starting state. Not everyone knows this, but there's another argument you can pass here, which is the starting state. So in this case, we want to keep it as an array. So there it is, as an array, just an empty array. And so this array is actually assigned to the accumulator the first time. So what I can do here is I can do a ternary, and I can say return. Um, I remember our first one is just going to be um, our first one is just going to be uh, multiplying the number by two, so we can say accumulator.concat, right? And uh, what we want to concat is uh, the value multiplied by two, right? And uh, after that, we're going to call dot reduce again, and same sort of deal, accumulator value. And what do I need to do now? I need to um, to get that empty array again, right? And what I want to do here is do here is where I want to filter, okay? So my filter this time is uh, is going to be uh, it's going to be uh, accumulator, or we're going to do if the value is greater than four, ternary. Then we want to do accumulator cat uh, with the value otherwise don't do anything to the accumulator okay so with that we can now run console dot time and to reduce timer and there we go and what did I do wrong let me see do, 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 do. Here, sorry. Okay, so with that reduce timer, let's actually run the reduce timer, see what we get, and it's saying valid not defined. My bad. Valid value. Okay, cool. All right. So with that, there we go. Reduce timer is 0 0.140. If we run it again, 0 0.072, and we run it three times. So we'll, we'll actually run them ten times each, and see what we get. So 0 0.03. So Two nine four. Okay. And what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, those are ten results right there. And what I can actually do here is bring up the console in this other window right here. And what I want to do. Is uh, is uh, grab these methods again. So let me grab this, bring this over here, reduce timer, and then um, the other one, of course, is let's see if I can get back to that filter map. Okay, so we got reduce timer, and that's good. So let's look at. Uh, Let's look at how it compares with filter map. Okay, so let's run filter map. Let's keep running it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, cool. So let's see how they stack up. So the first time, uh, reduce timer is already faster. At um, this is like three times faster already. Uh, actually, almost four times faster. Uh, filter gets better every time, still faster. This is maintaining a lot greater consistency, I'd say. Still faster, 0 0.22. Uh, it beats it, so it beats it 0 0.22, 26, and let's compare. So uh, reduce timer beats the first time, beats it the second time. Um, 
and then what it's doing is it's feeding it the third time as well okay and also feeding it the fourth time all right okay fifth time filter wins all right and sixth time filter wins uh, seven time filter wins uh, eight time reduce map wins nine time reduce map wins and tenth time uh, filter wins right so you have about uh, 64 right there on reduce timer uh, actually this isn't the most ideal I'm pretty sure I could do all of that logic in one reduce but really the reason why this is a faster operation using reduce than with filter is because when you're using um, filter and map uh, although they are functional you're still going over the whole array whereas when you're using reduce uh, you're basically just getting a slice and I could have just done it all in one reduce right um, so maybe a better example real quick that I'll show you guys is um, let's look at this one more for us to look at just um, a simple filter right and this is just a function and what we're going to do here is numbers one two three right and uh, constant time simple filter okay so simple filter grab that okay and then what we could do is we can just do numbers out filter function number and I just want to say return number is greater than two, right? So we should just get one number back. And then we could do console.time end, we'll do simple filter. Okay. So that's simple filter. And let me grab this and we will just change this out to work with reduce filter. And let's just say reduce reduce and here instead we'll say numbers are reduced function accumulator and value and we'll say uh, return uh, value is greater than uh, what, what do we say for so flip this again okay and simple filter greater than two okay cool so value is greater than two, and then we, in that case, we want to uh, concat the value, and let me give this that initial value of the array. Otherwise, uh, we just want to keep the accumulator. So we got reduced filter and simple filter. Let's run reduced filter first, okay? And let's run simple filter, okay? So simple filter um, actually beats it this time because we're not working on a large data set, and it's just filtering off of one thing. Um, but let's run them again, simple filter and reduce filter. So they're close, uh, simple filter, reduce filter, they're about the same. But what happens is once we start chaining on you know, the map, you're looping over that, or you're iterating over that whole array again, whereas reduce, again, you're just getting that slice and it's working off of that. So uh, I thought you guys would enjoy this video. Um, if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys. Uh, see you in the next video. So take care. Have a great day.